Welcome back, everybody, to the Nerdcore Podcast, the podcast that reviews the movies and talks that nerd shit. As always, it is a wonderful, wonderful day that we get to come to talk to you about some movies. I hope that everyone is doing well, that you all are happy and healthy and out there oh. just watching some good stuff. Today, I'm being joined by Luis. That means that we're going to be talking about a new release. And, of course, it's me, the Nerd Chicano, here to host the show. Lunch for wonderful co-hosts. Luis, what's up? Yeah, what uh, it's funny that you mentioned your releases. Some of these has been out for like two months. We just we, we've been fucking busy. <laughs> busy. Uh, Luis moved. Yeah, I moved. So the Wi Fi for yeah. like two weeks, and then yeah, yeah. it was crazy. So uh, crazy. if you see a bunch of videos where Luis and I are wearing the same shit, and it looks like the same shit, we bulk recorded that we bulk recorded the hell out of these episodes because. <laughs> I go over in my yeah. closet, so it seems like it's a different day. It's a different. It day. just makes it. I just make it seem so. So you look like you've been wearing the same shirt, yeah, the same clothes. Oh, yeah, it. make it look like we're all. Just, we, we we it's been a different day, but actually, you know, and, and I'm not even gonna ask on the other ones. How you doing, Luis? Because like, how how many times can you say how you're doing in six episodes? Because yeah, six like, episodes hey. straight. It's crazy. <laughs> Each oh, episode, okay. I just make something up new. But, yeah, you're like, oh yeah, t- t- today I won the lottery. <laughs> yeah, t- uh, we actually became a millionaire. Actually, I'm becoming a hedge funder for the Nerd Corps right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's funny, oh, dude. Yeah, no, it's been busy. It's a Sunday for us. Um, we're chilling. I'm chilling today. Took um, today and yesterday off because the last week and a half has just been pure content creation in terms of filmmaking. I'm actually behind on my content creation. Like, I need to upload some YouTube stuff because I already missed you a day or two. Both. Yeah. Me, me both. And I have a strict rule of not missing a day. But yeah. it happens. It happens. Yeah. I am behind uh, three videos right now. Three videos. And then next week, the, so I need to upload those three videos. And I have a Cinema Condition episode to record on Saturday. Those are the long ones, too. Yeah. So, uh, uh, uh it's gonna be fun i watched all the three movies that i need to do the videos on i just haven't had the time oh, to so that's actually time yeah yeah, yeah yeah it's just a recording so yeah. and i don't know if you edit those i edit it? those yeah but no. damn but they're simple edits they're nothing crazy gotcha. they just take time yeah empty space and whatnot yeah it's crazy you would think like editing and just taking certain spaces off even the simple ones even if it's like an hour it'll add you an extra 30 minutes to yeah to going through but yeah, yeah, dude, it's been crazy. It's been crazy. Today, what are we talking about, though? Bottoms. Today, we're going to be reviewing Bottoms. Mm-hmm. And Luis and I had the ple- beautiful pleasure of watching Bottoms. Well, for free. no, I'm kidding. <laughs> for free. Um, it yes, wasn't an did. invite by the press. The no. Houston Art Society had uh, a free oh screen. Oh, my God, look at that. Oh, my fucking thinning hair. Yep. Let me cover that up. Let me cover that up. My insecurities. Anyways, yeah, it was it yeah. wasn't press screening. Let me clarify because it was during strikes, so we we're not we're not participating more. in any of those activities no. for support no. of um, the actors and the writers. Yeah. Um, but we did get a screener because of an organization that asked for it for our yeah. college, which I will not divulge because Raul doesn't want to yeah. be doxxed. No. Uh, so. You know, we uh we went to that screening for Houston Cinema Arts Society, so they did a scre- free screening there, mm-hmm. and we uh we were able to watch this a little early. It is available now for the actual Everyone. release yep. for everybody, and mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure Luis and I are gonna go watch it again because we want to go ahead and take my brother because he didn't get to go watch it. Get to see it. Also, we because it's uh essentially a press kind of thing. We it had the banner for property of. Oh the, yeah, it was uh, a screener. Lions, yep. Lionsgate, was it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that no, was um, annoying. I'm sorry, not Lionsgate. Uh, fucking MGM. Gold. MGM. MGM. Yeah, the one with yes. Lion. Uh, that's, that's why yeah. I said Lionsgate because I it's just fucking. Yeah. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It had property of that, which is it's fine, but also they give it's you a. Um, it's distracting, and then also you have to understand that sometimes those releases are not the 100% one that are going to release. So they might change like colors, brightness, contrast by the end of yeah. it. Because I've I've seen some from festivals where they change mm-hmm. the end product. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, no, we want to go see it again because it, it was fun. It was fun. Yeah. Well, with that said, let's go ahead and get into it. So if you have not watched Bottoms, you should probably get out of here if you care about spoilers. But if you don't care about spoilers or you've already seen Bottoms, go ahead and stay. 
Either way, how any of that goes, this is your one and only spoiler warning, and it is in effect in a five, four, three, two. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go ahead and read here. And come on, y'all. Y'all can't give this movie more than two paragraphs. Come on. Wait, right. wait, how long is it? Just two paragraphs, bro. Oh, damn. It yeah. is new. It is new. Yeah. Bottoms is a 2023 American teen text comedy film directed by Emma Seligman, co-written, by, co-written with Rachel Sinat. It stars Sinat, uh, Ada Berry, Ruby Cruz in her feature film debut, Havana Rose Liu, Kai Gerber, Nicholas Gallitson, Miles Fowler, Dagmara Domiskus, fuck, how, I don't know how to say that. Um, <laughs> Domizaik, yeah. And of course, Marshawn Lynch. The film follows two high school senior girls, Senate and Eddie Berry, uh, who set up a fight club as a way to hook up with cheerleaders. Bottoms premiered at South by Southwest on March 11, 2023. It was released in the United States on August 25, 2023, by Metro Golden Meyer. The film received positive reviews from critics with particular praise aimed at its direction and cast performances. Yep. Um, it is cinematography is done by Maria Rouche, edited by Hannah Park. The music is done by Char- Charlie XCX and That's Leo right. Berenberg. And of course, it sits at an hour and 28 minutes and on a budget of $11.3 million. It has made six point two million at the box office at the moment, but this is I think this is like only the first week it's been out. If yeah, I- yeah, yeah, it legit came out like today yeah. Sunday. I think either this Friday or last Friday, so legit maybe yeah. barely a week. Yeah, it's trucking along. I don't think this is gonna make like crazy numbers. Yeah, but, no, it's like, not that type of movie where yeah. it gets a lot of traction. Yeah, um, I think- especially because it's definitely an LGBT film and the world has clearly shown its colors currently on yeah. how they stand with LGBT members. So, yeah. you know, not the best. I think this one will probably go up higher in the physical release and stuff like that. So yeah. I think that this, this will make its money back for sure, but I don't think it's going to make like crazy like $50 million or something like that. But um, yeah, yeah. Uh, we were able to watch this early, right? So, Luis, let's go ahead and I'll go with you, man. What are your initial thoughts on Bottoms? I mean, first of all, this is essentially a role reversal for early 2000s movie, which I don't mind. I really enjoy those movies. They're funny as fuck. I mean, it, the, the old ones probably have some stuff that we couldn't do today, but this one is a modernized version of that, right? Just changing the the uh, main characters' genders and, like, the whole... Uh, purpose of what they're you know, like who they're trying to get with right mm-hmm. uh, but i enjoyed it it was like a fun little watch uh i'll definitely need a second watch whenever we do go to decide to watch just to get a more detailed view on yeah. it but for now i enjoyed it it was fun yeah i pretty much feel the same man i i really like this movie um i'm a big fan of what Seligman has been doing i watched her last film with senate uh Shiva Baby, which is really good, and it was a really well made movie, but it's fa- very different from this. Uh, yeah. that last one, it's it's just as funny, but it's more like anxiety inducing and it's like really claustrophobic and stuff. Uh, Whereas in this one, like she kind of like lets loose a little bit with the direction here, and she makes a really, really funny movie and really well, like really interesting, like early 2000s parody film, yeah, because. It's yeah, it's taking everything from those American Pie movies and essentially, yeah, 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 yeah. She's the man and all those different films and like switching it and be like, okay, the girls are the ones who are gonna get laid and the dudes are the ones who are like the clueless dummies. I would like- want to see an Amer- a gender swapped American Pie because this I understand where you're coming from, but this is definitely not American Pie level. Oh, it's no, definitely no, like um, like um, what? A, not another team movie or like uh. I, I've seen them. I just can't remember the name. It's been a minute. But yeah. you, you you guys know. The, the viewers know what we're talking about. You know about. what movies we're talking about. Yeah, I mean, you know I, I grew up on those films, and Same I watched here. them all the time, and they were they were hilarious. And, yeah. you know, there's, yeah, they're, uh, they're movies that don't work anymore. 
when the way that they were made back then, I think they don't they work definitely... because of the types of jokes. But if you modernize yeah. the jokes and change them a little bit, they they'll yeah. pass it. They, they, yeah. They'll be able to pass. But there's a yeah, there's a lot of stuff where it's like, yeah, you probably shouldn't do that now. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. But that's and that's I think that's what Bottoms does. It like modernizes mm -hmm. what it's mm -hmm. doing, mm -hmm. but it still keeps to the style and it keeps to like that like that the eccentricity of those films. It makes it really fun. And it also makes it very like heartfelt. Like there's a lot of stuff in here. Like, mm -hmm. you know, the, the generic um, third act breakup between the friends that they end up getting back together in the, in the final part of the film. And it's like, it yeah. takes all those tropes that you see in all those films and modernizes them and makes it, you know, fun. It makes it really fun. Yeah, it does. It does. There's yeah. things where you kind of, it, like you were talking about they modernize it it's like not over sexualization but still like yeah. there right like they're still in it because they find the the cheerleaders quote unquote that they were trying to get with yeah like they find them attractive and whatnot um yeah but there's there's jokes here that it's like definitely possible it's just people oh you can't do it now because everyone's a snowflake or whatever not really it's more so it's like there's some terms that were used back in the day that like the the yeah. f word yeah, and, you just can't drop like that. that shit anymore. Yeah, like, yeah, you, you just can't drop that. Um, yeah. And it's understandable. It's understandable. Um, but just change some of the stuff. And it, yes, comedy is subjective, but there are some objective things to comedy, like timing and delivery. That is always a yeah. thing of like, if you get those things right, you got a banger. Like, you just need to have mm -hmm. good people. And a lot of the things that were said in this movie were improvised. So that's how, that's why it's also good. They had the, the timing and delivery down to a T. Yeah. And that's what I loved. I think that the mm. use of like in the script, the script is really good, but mm. the improv, the improv is that really like adds to it. Yeah. And there's a lot of standouts here. I love sending in this movie. I, you know, the beer is great, but my favorite part of this movie, man, it is freaking Marshawn Lynch. Marshawn Lynch. bro. I that's was it. reading that Marshawn took the role. Because he wanted to do it because, you know, way he wanted to do it as an apology to his sister for not taking her coming out as good as he should have when he was a kid. Really? The, I didn't know that about Marshawn. He did, yeah, so he did this role in a way to apologize to his, uh, to, to his, to his sister. And he said that, mm. yeah, like I, when I was 16, I didn't react to it the way I should have reacted to it. And mm. he said that I wanted to do this one so I could like set things right with my sister and show her that I do support her. And mm -hmm. honestly, man, like he's freaking felt hilarious. In he's, this he's fucking funny as fuck. He's the ally that yeah. most allies don't realize are allies. But it's yeah. like that's how I kind of like I'm, I'm not trying to place myself in a position. But whenever it's like anyone talks to me or like, oh, you know, you're that person you're friends with is quote unquote. And I was like, yeah, what of it? It's like, love it. it's yeah. like, yeah, you, you make it like, what if once you see the movie and if you've already seen it, um, you understand that like he's an ally to the point where um he'll just like treat you as a this is just another everyday thing also yeah. it wasn't a weird thing between like teacher teacher and student it was legit just like all right i guess these students i guess i gotta cut like sure i'll do it like i'm already yeah. doing this stuff and, well yeah that's the whole funny part it's like because you yeah. can tell that like more like his character just doesn't give a shit about yeah, what's yeah, going yeah. on so when they ask him to be the sponsor he's just like Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll be your period uh <laughs> I'll yeah. be your period advisor or whatever the fuck. Period advisor. Uh, and he's like, wait, but wait, y'all are getting into fights? And he's like, No, 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 we're learning to defend ourselves. Like, man, whatever, I'll just be okay. Yeah, day. this is cool. All right. Yeah, as long as they don't kill each other. <laughs> yeah, it's like, uh it's, it's, it's fucking funny as fuck. Cause he was what was he? A football player, right? Yeah, he's a fucking he's football a fo player. He's bro. a football player. He is one of them funny ones that like you see those uh where they're mic'd up on the field, right? And the yeah. uh, ESPN kind of like makes clips of it for TikTok or whatever, and it's like they're just saying funny shit. Um yeah. that that's what I get from him. And I hope he gets more roles where he has a little bit more time to shine for his improv skills and whatnot. Cause he's he's funny as fuck. Um, but yeah, yeah, everyone did an amazing job. Um, Ayo, especially after seeing the bear too, right? There's oh a, yeah, there's a there's like damn, they got talent right there, and they're definitely coming up. Um, I hope to see them more because um, not that we're gonna review this one, but I've already seen it. Theater camp, the trailer <laughs> I, seems yeah. like they they use her a lot in the movie. I don't really, I don't really 
we don't really see her that much at least from what i saw and i noticed yeah but i mean it's a miss of talent it's a miss of talent but everyone else in the film yeah even the side characters and the extras were funny yeah well. i the whole bomb bit was funny yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fucking, like <laughs> The car bomb, and then when they put it on the on the tree, and I on was the like, tree. when they put it on the tree, I was like, okay, it's gonna happen. Like it's gonna it's gotta blow, and then it doesn't blow, and then later I'm like, okay, it's gonna blow before the movie ends. And it, yeah, it yeah, yeah. Up. Not just that. That was funny. I was like, oh yeah, that's cliche. It's the fact that they had the guy that did a, <laughs> that said, all right, that was my last straw, and then he leaves, and we never see him again until the <laughs> end. It was like that was supposed to be my thing, and he's dressed up like a <laughs> active shooter. I yeah, was like, yeah. Yeah, they they were really gonna go that way. Yeah, um, yeah. Um and then the whole like pineapple the pineapple juice thing with the with the with, the, with being shit. his aller allergy for the yeah, for the football yeah. player. Yeah. Um I realized when he I saw his acting, it reminds me a lot of like Nickelodeon movie type acting. Yeah. Which works in this type of film, right? It's a little more rated R and shit. Um, but it's definitely like I get the vibes if they down the cursing a little bit and do a little bit like more oh this is orange this is like pg-13 it's definitely a yeah. nickelodeon movie which is not an offense because we got bangers like the spongebob movie and shit and yeah. um tmnt because they just released that shit um yeah. it's like uh but yeah. th there's definitely things where it's like it was perfect it was purposely made for this type of film yeah. uh, which works everything works i'm not saying it doesn't i'm just saying like the, the aspects that are reminding me of um, yeah damn dude but it's so funny man it's a movie with a lot of heart in it as well it is i i loved uh i think that the the cinematography is fantastic too i love the use of lights in here i love that they kind of give that like a, kind of a neon look but they still kind of stick to like the um the normal kind of like naturalistic approach that all those teen films had but they still kind of change it up sometimes and mm -hmm. I think that it's just it's another win for for Seligman, and I think that it's great performances from uh, Itaberry and Senate, and I think that they're all just you know they did great and they're coming up, man. Yeah. I'd say so. I'd say so yeah. because we've seen, of course, Ao the Bear. Uh, yeah. What's your name? The the uh, the best friend. Yeah, Rachel Senate. Rachel Senate. Uh, uh, we saw her in. Oh well, you haven't seen Bodies, 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 right? I did see Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. Yeah. Oh, you did? You did? Okay. Yeah. Um, they were great in that. That shit was funny. Yeah. And then and, um, who else was like, there? I feel like they could come up. It was, uh, fuck. I, I, I know the, the, the love interests, quote unquote, were also great actresses. Um, but the the I don't, I don't want to say the wrong ethnicity, but the 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 one that didn't Brazilian, bother, not, the Brazilian. Yeah, the Brazilian, not not the straight one, but the one that was attracted to to. Oh, uh, you're talking about what's her name? Uh, not Ruby Cruz. Uh, Havana Rose Liu. Yeah, yeah, her. They they were good. They were good for what they oh, they yeah. had as a character, and is like the 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 acting capabilities definitely like if you give her a serious like drama, I feel like they would kill it. Like we already know Sydney could kill it, right? Because the bear yeah. is very dramatic, but um giving all those extras that and then of course the friends uh that help out they were also pretty funny um <laughs> and so yeah. yeah yeah no they, they they definitely have potential and this film really showcases them just having fun this is like a essentially what an adam sandler film is but with like new people meeting each other you know like where yeah. you, it's essentially you became friends and you're just having fun with it by the end of it yeah and i and like i know that rachel kept pointing out but good lord when <laughs> The, oh, the football players having strap-ons oh yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the the mascot too yeah, like i said if I... they tone down that or if they like blur it it could be a nickelodeon movie just having yeah. it like in bronze in the fight choreography dude Jesus that was I, did, I wasn't expecting that for this type of movie dude yeah it was actually really good man i really liked the, the really last was. fight like that last fight was so fun but so good too man it, it was I don't know if they're interested in that, but like it was good enough to be where we changed the tone up a little bit. They they could have like a Avengers level ending where it's just choreography yeah. there. 
but that that yeah. was surprising i wasn't expecting that let alone all the blood shit because there was a lot of blood like I, they took the rated r rating and ran with it they oh, went yeah, yeah, they, <laughs> they used all of their capabilities before they put a nr rating a not rated type yeah. uh degree what do you call it well, rating, uh, right? Just rating. yeah not unrated or something i i i bet i bet and this is gonna get an unrated uh, release on the uh, for, on physical. for disc physical for disc, yeah, yeah. yeah for disc it's it's probably, going probably there is no way it doesn't like that's the straight up like the twenty the two thousands films like they get their mm -hmm. like release and then at home it's like buy the unrated version yeah 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 so they can show a little bit more yeah I fuck with it I fuck with it fuck with it but uh Luis what's your final verdict out of ten I liked it it was a solid eight out of ten not my thing personally um but that's because I can't relate to the I can relate to like wanting to get with the cheerleader, but not to the point where I'll go blow up a fucking car. Uh, but it was it was club. fun. Yeah, start a fight club and shit. But it it was yeah. fun. It was fun. Um. So yeah, solid eight out of ten. Like not bad. Uh, yeah. I'm 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 coming in at same number. I'm at an eight out of ten. I I gave Shiva Baby an eight and a half when I reviewed that one a long while ago. Mm -hmm. But. This one is an eight. I, I don't like it as much as Shiva Baby, but Shiva Baby mm -hmm. is a little, it's a different movie. And it's a movie that I think that uh, spoke to me a little differently. But this one yeah. was just as fun. And I think that proves once again that the, the these three, they're a freaking great team. And they have been working on this movie forever. They've been working on it forever. Yeah, you, yeah, you mentioned that when we were coming out. I was like, damn. Mm -hmm. Sometimes yeah. it just takes time to get what you envision out, right? Yeah. She know. said six years. Something during about the that. during the Q and A, she yeah. said six years, man. She posted pictures of her and Senate when they were in uh, NYU and in just some random like what's it called study room, making uh, plotting out this film. So yeah, it's crazy. You know, <laughs> they they did a, a Ryan Reynolds releasing Deadpool footage <laughs> to get made, but yeah, no, it's crazy when you hear about like homies from college that one there in one director and then like working together. It's fun. It's nice hearing that. Yeah. I have yeah, I don't think I've met one person that like I met in college that was an actor that I've worked with that I like have worked on other projects. Like Angie, I wouldn't even count it because we met after the fact. Mm -hmm. uh, and then if anything, maybe mighty so, but we weren't in we're not in the school at the same time. So uh, even if we work, that's about it. Everyone else yeah. I've met through like forums and shit, like every other director. But yeah. it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, it, yeah. That's nice to hear. Well, y'all go and check it out in theaters. And of course, check it, go out. check it out in theaters. And because it is MGM, that means it's going to stream on Amazon pretty like when it's done here. When it's done. Oh, really? The, uh, yeah. MGM Amazon. is owned by Amazon. Mm -hmm. They bought Amazon. Oh, yeah. So man. they'll have that. Internationally, it's going to be on Amazon Prime Video. So for those of you outside of the U.S., you can go ahead and and see it on Amazon Prime Video soon, I guess. I don't know when it's going to release, but it's going to be in there there to stream. But, yeah, that concludes our review. And, of course, if you want to go ahead and check out everything else that we're doing here, nerdcore.com, Twitter at the nerdcore underscore, Instagram at the nerdcore, patreon.com slash the nerdcore. At the $1 tier, you're going to get this episode early before anybody else gets to watch it because I'm going to do that right now as we finish. I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to upload it for the patrons so they can see it because this will be released on Monday. On that Monday, you're going to get my review with Brad live and early. So if you're at the $1 tier, you're getting all these episodes early. So you can go ahead and do that. Check that out. And, of course, our Discord link is in the description below. So check that out as well. We would really like to talk to you all. And in the comments as well, tell us, have you watched Bottoms? Have you seen the film? Are you planning to go see the film? You should definitely go and see it. So just talk to us in the comments. Yeah. Do you feel yeah. seen? <laughs> feel seen, yeah. Leave a like and subscribe uh, to the channel. Click the notification bell so you don't miss a single piece of content. Also, make sure you leave five stars on the audio side of things on the podcast platforms that allow you to do that. We would really, uh, we would really appreciate it. And of course, we will see you on the next one where we will be wearing the same thing. And I'm pretty sure I forgot to add Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: Mutant Mayhem to the list. But guess what? I'm probably gonna have to uh, do that too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll yep. do that soon. That one was definitely fun. Yeah, but we'll catch you all later. Uh, Luis, do you want to send them out? I don't know how you're going to send them out. Um, remember, uh, as a as a cis straight man, I have no actual. I I can make puns and whatnot for comedic sake, but you know, 
if you're gonna be a bottom, be a power bottom and help out. Uh, help out your homies when they have a crush on someone. Don't be a dick about it, but definitely help them out. Wingman that shit. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get to it, Chef. I, I, this is a prequel to Vera, 100%. <laughs> yeah.